Redfeather from Grepax. In this Skating Live video, we will be showing you how to add a second line or statement while utilizing the Skating Live effect dynamic text. Notice we are starting out in version 18.8.2 of Skating Live. Also take note, that our statements, or lines if you will, are two different colors. Once we have highlighted our video on the timeline and we view the effects properties window, you can see we have stacked the Kading Live dynamic text effect by placing them both in the video on the timeline, one on top of the other. Now this is a way to put two or three separate lines because uh, the box, the text, the dynamic text box does not expand. Now let us move along to version 1912.3 of Kading Live. Now notice we have three lines in our video. Each line is a different dynamic text effect. Although we are not showing it, but by clicking on foreground of the Kading Live dynamic text effect, in the properties window, the color of the text can be changed if so desired. Clicking on the background bar of the Kading Live Dynamic Text controls the box around the text. Notice once the Kading Live color picker appears in the lower left hand corner the two checkerboard colors. This represents an opacity for the box around the text. One clear and the other partially clear, but enough to see the box. In order to remove the box from around the Kading Live Dynamic Text, click on the clear one. Or, if so desired, you can choose another color to go behind the Kading Live dynamic text. One of the hardest things to this dynamic text procedure is while having the effects stacked and wanting to reposition one or the other lines it can be a bit tricky. In order to avoid this, be assured the proper Kading Live dynamic text effect for the line you would like to adjust is highlighted. Then using the down arrow in the Kading Live properties window, move the effect to the bottom of the effect list stack and then readjust as needed. Now for our next Kading Live dynamic text effect example. Utilizing the time code, notice everything is fine here, but then when we click over to our other spliced video with a dynamic text time code present, it starts at 20 minutes or so. In order to correct this in Kading Live, remove the Kading Live dynamic text effect. Then utilizing the zone in and zone out feature, render just the portion to have the effect. Bring the rendered portion back into Kading Live, placing the dynamic text effect back into the new rendered clip. 
Notice the dynamic text effect time code starts at zero as it should. We hope you have enjoyed this Kading Live tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber, ringing that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I, I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.